Hi, so for today, we are going to discuss linearity in circuits. So, linearity circuits. In DC circuits 1, this is a part of our study about DC circuits. So, for today's video, we're going to solve this. So, what is linearity? Linearity means um, the output of a certain uh, circuit is dependent or linearly dependent on the input. Okay, such as in this case, the I sub O is dependent with the linear or this I sub O output is dependent on the input V sub S. So that we are going to find I O when the V sub S or the voltage source is 12 volts and 24 volts. So let's get started. So we're going to use mesh analysis in here to first identify the mesh currents I sub 1 and I sub 2. So for the mesh equation 1, we have first write the mesh equation 1. We have 6 plus 2 plus 4. That is uh, 12 I sub 1, positive. And then 4 ohms is being shared of the two meshes. So in the uh, view of mesh 1, that would be negative 4 I sub 1. So and again, since mesh 1 is rotating in this direction clockwise, it enters the positive voltage side of the V sub S and therefore we have V sub S equals 0. Okay? So the, mas the summation of the voltages around the closed loop should be 0. So we also have uh, what? We also have for mesh 2, this is for mesh 1, for mesh 2 in the perspective of I sub 2, so we have 4 ohms is shared. Okay? So of course this would be 4 uh, this would be this must be for I sub 2. I'm so sorry. This would be I sub 2. So in this one, 4 ohms is shared. This would be negative 4 I sub 1. And count all. Add all. We have 4 ohms, 8 ohms, and 4 ohms. So we have 8 plus 4 is 12. Then 12 plus 4 is 16. Okay. So we have 16 on this side, positive 16 on the side of I sub 2. And of course, we also have a dependent. Uh, voltage source here okay dependent on the voltage drop here v sub x so it enters the positive uh, the negative side so this becomes negative 3 v x okay so continuing the mesh it enters the negative side of this voltage source so we have negative v x v s also so this is negative v x 3 v x minus v s equals zero so this is our second equation. And from there, we can calculate the values of I sub O. Okay. So what happens is that we have okay, we have to manipulate these variables. So take note that V sub X is simply equal to the ohms law by ohms law by the I sub 1 current flowing here multiplied by the two ohms. So we have the voltage equals the current, it's I sub 1, and then 2 ohms, so it's 2 I sub 1. So we can substitute this value okay, on our equation 2. So we have negative 4 I sub 1 plus 16 I sub 2 minus we have a Vx. Okay, Our Vx is 3, then Vx is 2 I sub 1 minus Vs equals 0. So simplifying, we have negative 4 I sub 1 plus 16 I sub 2 minus 6 I sub 1 minus Vs equals 0. So I sub 1 and I sub 2, I sub 1 and I sub 1 can be um, simplified. Negative 4 I sub 1 minus 6 I sub 1, that's negative 10 I sub 1 plus 16 I sub 2 minus V sub S equals 0. Okay? So this would in turn would be our equation 3, let's say. So if we are going to add equation 1 and equation 3, add equation 1 and equation 3. So we have equation 1 is 12i sub 1 minus 4i sub 2 plus v sub s equals 0. Adding this would actually cancel the v sub s. So we have negative 10i sub 1 plus 16i sub 2 minus v sub s equals 0. So if we add this these two will cancel. So you are left with 2i sub 1 plus 12i sub 2 equals 0. So that is your answer. 2i sub 1 plus 
i sub 2. So, you can furthermore divide this by 2. Okay? So, we have i sub 1 plus 6 i sub 2 equals 0. So, in other words, i sub 1 equals negative 6 i sub 2. Okay? So, using that, we can eventually substitute it to our first equation. So, substitute to the first equation. Okay? Using this. So, our first equation would be 12i sub 1 minus 4i sub 2. Okay? And then we have, what? Plus v sub s equals 0. So, we have 12i sub 1 is negative 6i sub 2 minus 4i sub 2 plus v sub s equals 0. So, 12 times negative 6 is negative So, this must be negative 72i sub 2 minus 4i sub 2 plus v sub s equals 0. So, we have negative 76. We can furthermore simplify it. Okay? Negative 76i sub 2 v sub s. So, plus equals 0. So, if we're going to manipulate this, so if we are going to isolate i sub 2, we have negative v sub s. I okay, divide both sides by negative 76. We have i sub 2. We have negative V sub S all over negative 76. So, the negatives will cancel. We have V sub S all over 76. So, I sub 2 equals V sub S equal all over 76. Now, if we're going to look at it, what's the relationship of the current I sub 2 to I sub O? That is actually the same. The current I sub 2 that flows here is I sub 2. It's the same current with the I sub O that we are trying to find. So, this in turn is equivalent to I sub O. So, now, if we are going to uh, substitute, we have two conditions. When V sub S equals 12 volts, no? what will be the I sub O? Okay? That's the question. So, the I sub O would be V sub S all over 76. That is 12 all over 76 amperes. So, if we're going to calculate it, 12 all over 76. So, that would be 0 0.158, at least for 3 decimals. 0 0.158 amperes, rounded into 3 decimals. How about when V sub S? Okay, when V sub S is 24 volts. Of course, the value of that I sub O or the current I sub 2 will vary because it is dependent. It is linear with the voltage source. We have V sub S all over 76. So, you have 24 all over 76. Okay, amperes. Or in other words, in decimal, we have 24 all over 76. So, that must be 0 0.316. So, you have 0 0.316 amperes. So, you see, if we change the value of the voltage source, the value of IO is dependent upon the change of that voltage source. So, the output is dependent on the input. So, that is what we call a linear circuit. Okay? So, I hope you learned something from this video. And I'll be doing more in superposition, in source transformation, Norton Tevinin on the next upcoming video on my circuits so please stay tuned and if you haven't subscribed please do subscribe to my channel thank you so much for listening again this is engineer abad and see you again on the next video